In this section I'm going to start to populate the EPA net model and put in system components. Here's the model I brought in the background map to earlier. You can see our scale there. The pipe I put in is still there along with the nodes. Uh, we want to erase those because they're irrelevant to our model now. Uh, you could do that by double sel by um, selecting them there. Actually the, the easiest way to do it is just to look over here under your browser and as you select things, uh, nodes or pipes, they'll show up there and you can just do a delete right there. It'll ask you if you want to. Yes. And Same for the nodes. I'm going to go ahead and delete all the nodes. Uh, the first node, was 1 and 2, uh, are the small pipe that I drew uh, originally uh, to test the scale. It's still there and we want to get rid of it. And the 3 and 4 are the ones I did second to verify that the scale was correct. So let's go ahead and delete all of those. Otherwise we could get some issues with our model uh, not knowing what to do with these uh, unconnected pipes. Now we've got a basically a clean model to start working with. I'm going to go ahead and start putting in nodes at uh, points of interest on the system. The first being the end of the existing system and the beginning of our new proposed system, which is right here. So actually an existing ARV marks the end of the existing system. So I'm going to put a node in there. Zoom out a little bit. one. You can also use the zoom in to a certain location. The next one I'm going to put in is a node at the booster station. I'm just going to do this uh, kind of roughly. I'm going to actually do a, a in inlet node and a outlet node. For that, for the booster station. Now I'm going to put nodes at uh, each of the homes. You can see our homes one, two, three, and four home pads there. I'm going to put these just. I'm not going to actually put them onto the. Uh, the uh, the homes themselves. I'm just going to put them on the water main where the homes will be tied into because I'm interested in the, this this level of modeling. I'm interested in the water mains pressure, not the pressure at the actual end of the service line. So that's why I'm putting the nodes on the water main rather than at the home. zoom out a little bit there and then I'm going to go ahead and put a tank in at the end of the system where our proposed tank is and I'm also going to put in a tank for the existing system, although I'm not going to place this tank at its actual location. I'm going to cheat a little bit here and just put it right there. And when I come to drawing that line, I'm going to go in uh, manually and uh, state a length for it. If I if I drew this tank where it actually is located, it would be off the screen and our, our, our area of our model would become so large it would be hard to scroll around in it. This is just a simple way to we're not that interested in this tank apart from its role in supplying a certain uh, pressure of water or head of water there. So we'll just set this elevation of this tank at the actual tank elevation, draw a pipe and set the length of that pipe approximately to what the length is from the pipe to this point at the end of the system. Uh, now I'm going to go ahead and start to edit the 
nodes with known survey data um, values for parameters of each of the nodes. This is the beginning of the system. You can see here it set its elevation as default as zero. We want to change that to uh, th three five nine six. The rest of this can stay the same. There's nothing else there we need to to change. And we can move to the next, which is the booster inlet. I'm actually going to go ahead and uh, change the ID of this one uh, to B inlet so that I can uh, recognize what it is when it's on reports because that's uh, of interest. And the elevation for that is 3740. Oh, excuse me, that's not correct. 3685. And actually the next one as well, the, the outlet of the booster, the is the same elevation. Three six eight five. For home one. Its elevation is three seven four zero. Our second home here. Three eight one zero. Third home. Three eight seven seven. And our final home here has an elevation of Zero, and I'm going to go ahead and set the elevation of the proposed tank, which is three nine four three. Uh, the diameter of the tank, I know it's going to be a uh, twelve foot diameter tank, and uh, its maximum level. I'm going to put that as 12. It's a 12 foot tall tank by 12 foot diameter. And initial level, I'm going to leave that about halfway at 6 for modeling purposes. Just to check that I don't need to change any other parameters there. Set the elevation for the existing tank, which is three seven five seven. And let's make this a large tank. Let's make it a hundred feet, and let's do a maximum level of a hundred as well. We just don't want this tank to run out of water during the modeling uh, because we're. Uh, I'll actually make that a thousand because we, we just want it to be a supply of water. We're not interested in actually modeling or changing it during this uh, design process. I'm going to pause right now and continue in the next section.